Today about the frustration among hospital nurses that is leading to staff shortages. As you know, we've been reporting this. Hospitals were already experiencing a shortage of staff. And nurses are also telling us they are even more overworked and they feel underappreciated. Fox 59 Zach Myers has the latest on this ongoing situation. Well, this ongoing conversation is gaining more attention now that a video is being shared on social media. The video is only 32 seconds long and it doesn't show the full meeting, but the snippet being shared on social media shows the president of a local hospital appearing frustrated with staff members in a Zoom meeting and telling employees, quote, if you don't like working here, then go someplace else. Overworked, underpaid, and underappreciated. That's how experts like Lori Brown describe what many hospital nurses are feeling right now. They see these travel nurses coming in who are getting paid a lot more than them, or they see people, they're newer recruits that they're getting sign-on bonuses, and they're like, well, wait a minute, I've been here, I've been loyal, why aren't I getting paid more? At the same time, she says it's not all about the money. Money is great, but they're more after how they're treated, how they're respected, what's the staffing level, how supported are they when they have a problem. With continuing staffing challenges, area hospital systems are taking different steps to retain employees and attract new ones. Community Health Network recently raised its minimum wage from $12.50 an hour to $15 an hour. It's also offering sign-on bonuses up to $15,000 for some nursing positions. However, that's not possible everywhere. We just lost a couple of nurses to a competing organization that are offering, you know, exuberant sign-on bonuses that us as a small hospital just can't match. Dr. David Dunkel says Johnson Memorial Health is now offering retention bonuses for current employees. However, he says the bigger focus is on the personal level rather than financial. We try to be sure to create a nurturing environment where people feel respected and they feel appreciated. Brown agrees even small gestures can go a long way. They want to feel supported. They want to feel acknowledged and, and um, told they're doing a good job. The key is really treating the nurses well that you have and valuing them and respecting them. In Indianapolis, Zach Myers, Fox 59 News.